Hello everybody and welcome to this last video in the right blankety blank blank blank. Okay. And this one to me is probably the funnest out of all of these. And it is write who you know. Now what this means is when you're writing your script and, and you're like all of this is based on you making this movie yourself. Okay. So when you're writing your script, it is so much easier and so much more fun for you and the people you're going to fucking like wrangle into this fucking venture. Okay. It is so much more fun. If instead of writing, oh, this character is a mad scientist. This character is a psychologist. This character is a professional football player. Blah, 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 blah. You can do all of these things if you want and have varying results. But if you go to people who you know will want to help you make this movie and say, like, are, do, you, do you want to be an actor in this? And they're like, fuck yeah, dude, let's do this. Let's fucking make this thing. Write that character exactly like that person. Because nine times out of ten, these people are not actors. And it's going to drive you fucking crazy. You're going to feel like you're trying to fucking make something special and meaningful. And these people aren't taking it seriously. Why the fuck should they? You're having them fucking be things they aren't. And this is not their fucking forte. Okay? So write them exactly as they are. And as you're writing your script, as you're writing the dialogue, you're going to start noticing that you really know the mannerisms of these people that you know really well. And you will be able to write dialogue that is fucking compelling and fucking real. And your actors, who are your friends or family or people you know, are going to be able to pull it off. And it's going to make them look like they're fucking rock stars. Okay? And plus, if they have jobs that, like, hey, my boss said we could shoot, blah, blah, blah. Now you have another location. And now we're back to write what you have. Do you see what I'm saying? This becomes so fucking easy. And putting a movie together becomes really good. And when you're fucking showing your actors the script, who are your friends, they'll be reading it and they'll go, oh, shit, I fucking say shit like this all the time. That's how you fucking do it. And then, two, if they go off script and they start fucking ad-libbing and shit, it'll feel fucking natural because it sounds like them fucking anyway. And when it sounds natural to them, their fucking delivery is natural. And when that happens, they look like they're fucking Oscar-winning fucking actors. Do you see what I'm saying? It's really fucking simple. But for some reason, all of these people who want to make that movie, who want to fucking... Mm, they fucking make life so fucking difficult for themselves. So just like... Write to your strengths. Write to who you have around. Because as soon as you tell someone, hey, I'm going to make you a fucking star, they're going to want to fucking do it. And if you make it as easy for them as possible, they're going to have a good fucking time. And yes, if you want to, like, make it a little bizarre, you know, add a little something to it, that's fine. But start with the backbone, the skeleton of their own personality, so when you're writing something for them, they feel that it's for them. And then you can even say to them and make them feel really good. Dude, I wrote this especially for you. Like I had you in mind when I was putting this character together. I couldn't think of anyone in the world other than you to play this fucking part. That is going to make their fucking ego and heart fucking swell. And you need big egos when you're making a fucking movie. You really fucking do. Or else it looks like fucking, I don't know, the fucking waiting room and a fucking mortuary. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, going back through it. Write what you know. Write where you live. Write what you have. Write who you know. And you will have a film, a feature film that should not take very long to make, that you could fucking shop around and use as a resume to make that big, stupid fucking movie of you wanting to shoot in the Amazon rainforest. But if you don't have shit for people to see that you can do these things, no one's going to fucking give you the opportunity. Why the fuck would anyone risk millions of dollars on your fucking idea, your lofty fucking thought? Do you see what I'm saying? All right. 
So join the Anarchy Crew, links down below, keep buying my books, type hard everybody, and I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video, and if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.